So in this video we are going to covering Singer's controller. So what I am going to doing here, I am just going to annotate it with yet rate of rest controller. Right. See what it does at the rate of response body and at the rate of controller. Right. You can observe at the rate of controller and at the rate of response body. Right. So you can just go through this document and you can understand this one. Right. I am going to mentioning yet the rate of request mapping. Okay. Here. I'm going to mentioning at the rate of request mapping and I'm giving the path this is rest API singers right so I'm giving like this rest forward slash API forward slash singers so fine right so this controller singers controller will take help from service layer private singer service right singers service i'm going to do doing just wiring of that singer service into this Singers controller, right? So what I'm going to do here, yet the rate of auto wired, I'm going to mentioning on top of singer service attribute, right? Now public response entity response entity, I'm going to giving response entity in string okay so here we are going to save this is nothing but create right create operation when we are going to perform so body of the request we need to give right so how do you give body of the request with the add rate of request body so I'm giving add rate of request body we are going to passing this singers singers object right so so initially i am going to taking this response entity this response entity string type right so here response entity i am going to mentioning and we are going to returning what as of now, I've just mentioned null. So later we can add it. Okay. So we need to just import this singers class. Okay. So alt enter and just import. Okay. It will import it respective class package. Right. So here what we have to do singers service dot save method okay this is nothing but save singers so just select that one and we are going to passing these singers right so now what it will return so we are going to introduce local variable alt enter okay so i'm just going to taking integer right it will return integer fine now what will happen when our response entity equals to new response entity if you give string and we are going to pass in this body singers Right. Suppose singer, I'm just mentioning place 
this integer also I'm giving some string format I'm just giving the string that is created right in the string format I'm giving the some message that is created right you can observe after this one I'm just mentioning comma I'm giving the HTTP status dot okay right so we can see this is body this is body singers creator and we are just mentioning HTTP status dot okay if you want see I'm just writing in commenting like this you want to write right singer it is going to printing integer value 1 singer 1 created right if you want to like this right what will you do okay so I'm just giving the space here I'm just giving the space here so here I'm just mentioning one single quotation here also I'm just mentioning single quotation right that's it whenever running this program and you are going to get like this singer one created okay we'll see now if you want handle exception here also you can handle I'm just mentioning try block here we are going to mentioning catch block exception y right so here also I'm just mentioning response entity equals to new response entity so here what you are going to doing string we need to mention right so in this body e dot get message comma HTTP status dot internal server error I am going to mentioning right so what you are going to do after that one so e dot print stack trace I am going to mentioning nothing specialty this is exception handling okay so here missing return type right so you have to just return this one what is I am just going to returning this statement okay return response entity right fine we are going to performing post mapping this is nothing but save operations right so here I am giving save right so like this we are going to mentioning okay now this is what operation save operation that that is nothing but create okay now we need to implement that code for update right public response entity going to giving as string type and we just giving update method here let's give here put mapping put put mapping right so here I'm giving the value what update so this is update right how will you do if you pass respective object in this one right request body body of the request how will you pass suppose if it is student student but it is not student suppose it is employee employee object so it is not student or employee object it is singers object okay singer we are going to perform 
okay this is spell mistake at the rate of request body right fine so here initially i'm going to mentioning response entity response entity equals to null right this response entity what type of string type i'm going to written response entity right now what we have to do if the single object is present then we need to update that one whether it is available or not so we have already present that one method available method right inside that interface single service so we need to test that one so what we have to do singers service dot is available okay here we need to take that id right respective id we are going to taking this singers dot id that is nothing but get singers position right so this is in integer format only available so we are going to returning this values in boolean format right because of this is is available method it is going to return true or false if it is available we are going to uh, write logic our logic according to logic we need to implement right so if available what will you do you have to update right singer service dot you need to call update method singers you need to pass singers right so here after that one what you have to do response entity equals to new response entity string i'm just giving inside the body updated successfully so i'm just giving updated successfully right so also i'm giving http status dot okay and you can observe now we just finished this if logic okay if condition we just finished and here we are going to writing else black so, right else black i'm just mentioning response entity equals to new response entity right so in this response entity i'm giving string type only so here i'm just writing record plus singers example right so singers dot get singers position plus not found right if it is found we can just okay simply http status dot okay we can mention if it is not found simply like this we can mention right also i am going to mentioning http status dot bad request right so what i will do here i want this one right so here i am just mentioning single quoted single quotation i'm just mentioning like this right fine so returning what response entity where you have to return in this line return response entity fine this is update operation we are performing what code operations 
create, update, delete, read or fetch. So now this is update completed and we are going to perform now delete operations, right? So how you will delete? Based on ID, you are going to deleting. ID means here singles position, right? Keep it in your mind. For understanding purpose, I given singles position that is ID, right? I'm going to writing public response entity. So this is response entity type. I'm just giving string format only. So what you will do delete by id i'm just writing here right use a different method i'm just going to mentioning here and uh, inside this id i'm just passing this at the rate of path variable right you can just go through this document at the rate of path variable what is does see here we are going to give integer id right so in the same style, we are going to returning response entity. Response entity equals to null. I'm going to mentioning initially. So what will you do after this one? We need to check whether that particular single object is present. It is available or not. So we have already is available method. So we are going to check again single service dot is available. So we are going to pass in this one ID and it is going to returning what Boolean whether it is available it will return true. So now we are going to writing if condition. So again going to returning here available single right so just copying this one and pasting in this if right so in the if we are just giving the this condition if available singer so what will you do you need to delete that one particular singer object so singer service dot delete you need to pass what singers id right integer id so we just pass this one and after that one response entity we need to mention and i'm just giving this response entity this is string type right so we are just giving inside this body uh, status we need to give and also bot so this is done if block we just written and else block we need to write else what will you do here response entity equals to new we need to create response entity object right so here we need to give in string format again string response entity type string and inside this body just empty body i'm just mentioning and this id after that i'm writing in string format some message that is not exist right after that one http status dot okay i'm going to mentioning okay now here what you are going to return response entity right response entity you are going to return right just end with semicolon so this is nothing but what delete mapping so i'm giving value what delete id okay this is open braces close braces flower braces we just mentioned this id will go into 
copied in this id right so this path variable you can just go through the, this document right fine get one singer how will you do right create update deleted read operation you have to do public response entity so this is string type I'm going to returning here I'm just writing get single singer by ID okay this is user defined method and we are just returning string type right okay I, I don't want uh, this response entity as string type I'm just leaving like this okay because of it will return singer object okay simply it will take singer object it is going to return right so how will you do here yet the rate of path variable right at the rate of path variable integer id i am going to mentioning right here what you will do get mapping see this value is what get single singer right this path variable and you are going to pass integer id so how you have to do this one if singer service dot is present right it is available or not we are going to check is available so we are going to pass this id and what you have to do if it is available singer service dot get all singers you want no right get one singer so you need to pass this id that's why we are just passing here integer id in the form of address of path variable right so it is going to return what introduce local variables one singer object right else what you have to write so here response entity response entity what you have to do so initially we are not mentioned any response entity so we are going to mentioning response entity response entity equals to null right so here also same thing we are going to mentioning inside this if block response entity equals to new response entity and here we are going to just mentioning this is what we need to pass singers object right so here need to give one singer one singer inside this body comma http status dot ok right we need to give like this okay fine so if this block fails and control will comes to else block and we need to give what here we need to return we need to write here return new response entity 
so what you have to do here you need to write one return statement right return response entity so fine fetching operations retrieve or fetch right same thing we need to implement like this get all singers spring boot by default conversion is json format only no doubt so it will produce as json format singer service dot get all singers it will return list of singers we need to write our logic according to logic if it, it will execute right if all singers equals to equals to null or all singers dot is empty i need to check whether all singers are null or all singers empty so now what will you do if it is like this i'm just going to mentioning one string message string message no data found right response entity see here i am not mention any response entity so now i am going to mentioning here response entity response entity equals to null okay now according to this response entity here i am going to creating new response entity we need to uh, give response entity type string okay so here i'm just passing message okay after that one just mentioning comma http status dot okay i'm going to mentioning right so now in this else block i'm going to writing response entity equals to new response entity so in this body i'm going to mentioning all singers right so after that one again i'm going to mentioning http status dot okay so what i will do here inside this response entity uh, i'm just giving list of singers right this is list of singers so everything is fine just returning response entity right this is also what fetch operation according to crud we just create update delete read operation nothing but fetch operations right we just return this service crud operations right in spring boot by default conversion is what json format only that's why here i am not mention anything right produces json format i am not mentioned so we need to develop what configuration related stuff so that's all for this video uh, i will come back with another video this is jay signing off bye bye